All right, now since we have our tab and wire on all of our solar cells, we can start to assemble them together. And we're going to just use the template that we made. So what you do is just place one here. Place the starter. Then you're going to take another one. And I'm going to place that over top of it. Basically, this just help, uh, help us align it so it'll be straight when we actually put it on the peg. So I'm just going to go ahead and trim these up. Alright. And just make sure the tape and wire is straight again. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our flux pin and apply some flux to the thick white lines on top. And I just usually just do one at a time. So then we're going to take our soldering iron and again we solder this together. It's recommended that you have, I believe, a 60 watt soldering iron or a soldering iron that you can adjust the the actual heat and everything. I mean, anything will do. This is the one I have right now. It's just a 30 watt soldering iron, but it does take a little time to get used to. And this is probably depending on the type of soldering iron that you have. This can take a pretty decent amount of time to get finished. So I would recommend to get like a, a nice soldering iron. This one I have really isn't that uh, professional, but I mean it gets the job done. It just takes a while. Again, I would recommend wearing gloves cause, because this can get pretty hot. It's like the heat shoots straight down the wire. You don't really want to burn yourself. Alright, so I got one on, so I'm going to go to the next one. Put some flux on the other side. Take our solder on out again. Tap it where we need. Tap the Some people uh, put uh, solder on the end just to give it a nice bond to the actual solar cell. Sometimes you do have to do that if, if you don't have a good solder on the uh, It just helps to keep the tab and wire down.